This review is being brought to you by Prime Toys. Check out primetoys.net for all your Transformers needs. Primetoys.net. And I'm a reviewer, so let the reviews be joined. Hello everyone, this is Dinobot here once again for you with you for another video review. As you can saw just then, I have been sponsored. Check out primetoys.net for all your needs. But let's get right into the review, shall we? I have here Combiner Wars Leader Class Ultra Magnus. I was really happy with this, but let me real quick talk about Magnus bro, uh, before we get much further. I actually, as I with my sponsor, PrimeToys.net, ordered this from PrimeToys.net. And when I ordered this, I actually ordered this on like a Tuesday. He put a message out saying that you know he wasn't gonna get the orders, uh, the basically the order of his set for Magnus until that Thursday. That was fine and dandy. I made my order of Magnus plus another figure. It message came out Saturday that he's being shipped. Monday afternoon, boom, he's here. So I was pretty happy with it. Got a great deal on this guy. So definitely worth checking him out. But let's get right into him. Magnus comes with several items. He doesn't come with comics like the the deluxe figures. He actually came with his own collectible card. Which, as you can see, is pretty accurate to the figure. Uh, you would think this is, by the art style and everything, you would think this come off the Transformers mobile game. The Transformers of Legends mobile game, excuse me. Which, sadly, is ending real soon. But still, very nice art design on everything on it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the artist who does this. I need to, I'm really going to try and find out for you guys so I'll know myself. But very cool art because you got Magnus there with his big axe and little Minimus Ambus. But that's the card. He also comes with his instructions, which again, I love the artwork that they've been doing with these instructions. All the Combiner Wars, all, everything of them has been really, really well done very well detailed in every way but great it's a great great way to learn to transform your figures aside from of course looking on youtube and watching my videos or somebody else's videos of magnus but let's get right into the figure guys first and foremost this is all you get from almost forgot there's a little minimus this is all you get with uh besides the instructions and the card this is everything you get for magnus you get minimus ambus you get, of course, the main body of Ultra Magnus. You get two missile pods. And you get two weaponry. Let's look right at the accessories real quick first. You got one that you can see is basically, you can consider, kind of consider an axe or a type of rifle if you want. You have his regular rifle here. Both of these are really well done. I mean, they're both both really cool. You can actually take and store these on the Magnus vehicle. You kind of has kind in a way you had to do it a certain way because of the way this is uh, taking this one here and putting it on the basically the right side of the body. You can do you can do it right back here, or you can even put it up here if you would like. Though. These are more preferred for the missile pods, which you'll get into in a minute. I'll just set that there for the time being. And we'll flip it around and you put the other gun. You can peg it in with this peg right here onto the back side as well. Which I'm. There we go. It doesn't look too bad with that, you know. Nice, nice armament there for him. Lastly, the missile pods as well. Missiles don't fire or anything like that, but still, very nicely done. Very G1S, even though uh, I believe the G1, he only had one missile. And also, I should note on this, uh, as you, well, let me peg these in. As you saw, you peg these in right here. If you don't know already, this, basically, this figure is based on the IDW comic art of uh, what Magnus is in that comic series. That's where Minimus comes in. He is the, basically the backstory behind him. He is a load bearer 
He has a specific type of spark that enables him to do certain things that others cannot. And uh, the main character, he basically, what happened was he was picked out to carry on the Mag Ultra Magnus name because the main, the first person, or the first, basically the main hero that was Ultra Magnus had died, you know, years or eons before, whichever you want to call it, for in time, Transformers timeline. Um, and they thought, well, we got to let the, he was such a hero, they decided he's got to be a name. We got to let it live on. And they actually, there's no direct inclination as to who, how many have worn the armor, the, or basically Magnus armor as it is, uh, up to date yet. Which I wouldn't be surprised if we will learn that in the near future. But currently, Minimus Ambus is the current pilot of the armor. Uh, Minimus Ambus, the character, the figure here is small and i i was i thought at first it's pretty cool he's gonna we're gonna have a minimus ambus i know he's gonna be small but i had no idea he was gonna be this small uh just to bring this in here is the you know your excuse me tailgate figure this is how big he is to tailgate tiny we'll set him outside because i'll show him a, a little thing with him here in a moment this is Leader One from the Armada mold. This is the, actually the original size I feared Minimus Amos would be. I feared it'd be about a Minicon or MicroMasters style mode, which sadly I don't have any real MicroMasters, uh, so I can't really compare those. But this is basically, he's not much smaller than a uh, Minicon, which still ain't, isn't too shabby. But. Uh, you know, considering everything with his articulation that this guy has, which I'll show off here shortly, he's he's really good. I really like this. But as I said before, with the Magnus figure here, you can take Tailgate or any other legend size figure, and you can set them basically up on a, you know, as a greater carrier. You can actually put two up here and two down here. You can even like back here. You can open this area back up to have a little ramp to drive them up in like so you know just pull them up in there you can close them up even if you want to also you can uh, just unpeg this piece is here and here you can bring it down just enough you can't you won't fully reach down because of the way the design is but you can have them you know pull up there or and whatnot, you know, that's just and raise it, you know, raise it, peg it back up there, like so. So it's actually pretty good for for that design. Minimus can sit up there as well, you know. Even Leader One can sit up in there. Yeah, it's basically like so. I mean, it's not a bad design for it at all. But I'll set these guys aside, and before we transform Magnus himself. Let's go ahead and show off Minimus as well. Uh, Minimus, there's not much to his transformation. Basically, flip the front end here on both sides. Uh oh, there we go. To form his feet, and his back whole back section here of his of his body, you can unpeg his arms. We'll flip down like so. And mine's a little stiff because I haven't been messing with him too much. Come on now, there we go. And that's it. That's it for his transformation. Very cool though. Not much of the transformation, but he's very well articulated. He's got a ball joint here for the in the arms to twist his arms way right around. He has no elbow or hand articulation being so small. He has the knee or the excuse me the hip ball joint and he's got this swerve there in the knee for the transformation. So he's still got some good articulation. Design wise, he's very, very well done that paint scheme. He does have a little bit of a beard, goatee style on his face, if you can zoom, if it can zoom in there, which is how he looks in the comics. Very cool. Uh, also should note on the this is the Hasbro of course release. In the Takara, you don't get the Minimus Ambus, you get uh, Alpha Trion, which I do hope to get that one as well. Hopefully, I'll definitely get it from Prime Toys. But, enough of that. Can't hint there. <laughs> we 
we'll set minimus aside and we'll look at bring ultra magnus back in and we'll transform transformations not that hard very simple we're going to first take off all of his weaponry here to just to get them out of the way for the transformation uh best best way i, I found to transform this guy is to start right up here you want to unpeg well first unpeg back here these pieces here and flip them up and as you do so you also unpeg these pieces up here and you flip these around like so and it's better to go ahead and just swing them like so just to get these out of the way which i'm banging it there you do that on this side next step is these red pieces here and here you want to unpeg those like that and as you pull it up you swing it up you can go ahead and swivel them upwards like so we'll do it the same on this side unpeg that side raise it up and swing it up next you'll want to come in right here to this section here and it's probably really better to put your Flip underneath it here and just push and unpeg. Basically, it's the chest piece for Magnus, which I'm doing here. It's actually because... Oh, there we go. All right, unpegged it. You'll swing this up just a hair. Your next step is to swivel right here, this swivel piece, which the arm there is probably in your way. You'll want to swivel from right here up like so. This is just temporary. They'll straighten out these joints here, which is basically his legs, as you probably guessed. You'll then unpeg these the side panels here, and you'll swivel them up all the way up. So they pretty much peg in. I'm not sure how this is going to come out on camera. You see you got several peg holes in this. And if I've got this right, you should peg it in right there on that next to middle one because this one you're going to swing this panel back up and it's going to peg in right to that peg there, like so. The same also, which when you transform it like that, you see it, it brought this piece down here, you just have to swivel this up and out like so to form his foot. And the back piece here, this red, will also swing around and it will also peg in right here to this piece here. So you just peg it right in. And there's that's his foot transformation. We'll do the same on this opposite side. Swivel it up, get to peg, peg, swivel that foot down. Which I don't think I got his leg pegged in there right. Let me turn this around so I can see. There we go. Come on. There it goes. That told me it pegged in. Swig this up. Let's flip, flip that around. And peg in. There. We straighten it out. You do notice he does stand kind of right there. Next, we will adjust the camera. Hold on. Bear with me just a moment. Let me raise this camera up some. And this thing's going to get in the way. There we go. There we go. Okay. Apologize for that. Next step, you will go ahead and we can get the arms. To do so, you just swivel these, slide these straight up. Now these will slide all the way up to that far. You'll see the hinge right here will be basically where you're going to stop at. Next, you will, for his hand, this whole piece right here will just swivel up and lock into place. Just get slide that out of the way. Flip that, make sure that's flipped back. Slide that up. Lock it into place. And we'll do it so same with this side. And there's his most of his body put together. Now the head the, the truck there, 
real easy to do. You slide it down. It'll lock lock into place there. You will then right back here. You flip, which unpegs it. You'll swivel oh, the arms in the way there. Swivel this around, and with this out of the way, you'll just swivel this down and pop it in. Put the arm back. You'll then pop this open. You don't really have, you can do this before if you wish to, but this piece has always been real stiff. I need to really work some magic on this, but raise this up. And there's Magnus's head, and it, it will swivel all the way up. There's a, and as you can see there, there's a little control room in there. Very cool looking to me. That's basically, it makes me think a lot of like a Gundam mobile suit type uh, cockpit in there. But you just take little Minimus here and you'll peg him in there. But I'm gonna, before I stick him in there, I'm going to show you before and afterwards. Because you don't necessarily have to put him in there if you don't want to. If you just want to leave him out, you can. But you just you can close this back up. And close this up. We'll bring the head back down. And there's Magnus in all of his transformed glory. Let me write low. Uh oh, my bad. There. Had to straighten him out some. I didn't have his feet leveled up. We'll lower this back down. We can get a full view of Magnus. And there's Magnus in most of his glory because all we still got to do is put his weaponry on him. And you take the missile pods and you'll peg them into like right here up on his shoulder. Yeah. Like so. And we'll do the other side. Peg it in right there. Now... I'm, I'm like, I know you guys have seen other reviews on this guy already, and his hands do have some issues because you can get him to hold both his weaponry. All you got to do is basically open his hands, which, bef well, before we get into the weapons on there, let's do his articulation real quick because I do need to speak on that. Articulation, his main head here swivels just a little bit. It doesn't, it's not on a ball joint. You can do that, and because of this hinge... It's right back here. You can get him to, well, look up. It's because this thing's so tight on mine, that's why it popped loose there. You can't get him to do that, but that's just mostly working for Minimus being in there. Uh, his arms do swivel around all the way. He does have the hinge here for the elbow. No wrist articulation. Oh, and he does, it can swivel like that. I do apologize for that. So you can swivel that around. He does have a little bit of finger articulation right there where it just opens up his hand and closes it and whatnot. No waist swivel at all. He does have these ratchet joints here in the legs, like so, and right below the hip. He's got the twist there as well. He does have some knee articulation with that joint there as well. And the feet do have just a little bit of swivel there for some, a little bit of foot articulation. But still, not too bad at all. We'll get him to stand straight. And now we will put his hand weapons in. This I've always found this one sits in this hand better, in his right hand. Uh, I think it's just the way these hands are done and stuff that, he says, as you see, he holds that one really well. I, never, I haven't been able to get him to really hold this one too well. I mean, I can kind of get it in there but it doesn't want to seem like it doesn't want to sit right i've tried it with both hands and it's the same deal so i mostly i just display them with if i have this on there i just i just actually peg it in right here which is basically where it was before in that hole and have them like that next you can uh as you as you saw you have minimus and I'm going to show you how Minimus sits in his hand, in his body. Open this up. Open that. Open that. And we'll just... Basically, the way to do this is kind of... Not really difficult, but... You have these little pieces here in his legs. And they're going to basically peg in... I don't know how well that's going to shine right there. 
see that little those little slots right there they're going to peg in right there to those you just basically I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to do this and not knock the camera over or the figure over at the same time but you stick this in basically for kind of stick him in there where he's going to be in a sitting position which he's not wanting to work with that other leg with me the knee doesn't want to bend too well but we'll get it like this and then we'll force him to sit down there we go that's better you can get his fists to stick into the because our little controls in there like joysticks that you can't get him to grab a hold of i'm not going to worry about that too much you then can close this back up and as you can see with it closed up and this piece pulled back open you can see minimus is well you can't see because i don't have the camera situated but you can see minimus is sticking his head out there and he just basically oh, put magnus's head right over him very cool very nice in all detail now there is one other trick to the weaponry you basically can take all the weapons and make the hammer where all you do is you take all take his, both his guns and you're going to take this gun and this one and you're going to peg this barrel into this one like so you then take his missile pods like take these off and you'll peg them into the peg holes on each side of this one like so and like so you can't have them like this it's probably like have them like that basically and then you can have Magnus hold it best way to do that is like so basically with this hole here in the hand it's best to stick them like this and have his hand close around it to hold it like so gives it a little bit better hand hold for him he, with the, the wrist articulation and stuff not being there you can't really you can probably could if you really worked at it but I don't think think there's really a way to get Magnus to kind of hold it two-handed but you can do that now I'm just about to knock him out of knock it out of his hand here let's get it there we go now as I, as I said before this is leader class so I am going to bring in another combined awards leader class figure for size comparison and to do so here is leader Megatron as you can see roughly about the same height I mean if you add all this in there yes Magnus is taller but still you know considering height wise and everything for size comparison I think this is really well well, well scale excuse me really well scale scaled if I can spit it out right uh, now one last thing on Magnus or at least combined wars Magnus there is a upgrade kit on its way out it's not quite out yet it's being done by X2 toys it's supposed to have from what I have seen a new back of some kind uh, it's going to have some a new uh, new new head or head sculpt of some kind or other I'm not sure the exact details on that it's going to have a new hands and new arms I actually think all this is being replaced and it's also going to have a new rifle and he's going to have some like new feet as well some kind I don't know if it's going to make them taller or give them better articulation on the feet or what uh, all I've seen is just some renders for it I haven't seen actual footage anything on it just yet but it's definitely worth looking into guys or keeping an eye out for but before I end here guys uh, I mean once again recommend definitely recommend picking this guy up he is definitely worth it he is great for any collection definitely works with your combined awards uh, and if you're an IDW reader like I am definitely worth to collect for that but uh, and yes you can pick this guy up from primetoys.net uh, you can actually get him for forty two dollars which isn't too shabby and if you listen to transmissions check them out they have a code for you transmissions july you use that code and you get discounted off well i think it's actually you get uh when you spend 50 bucks instead of the 150 charge normally that it pretty much everywhere charges for free shipping 50 bucks get you free shipping so we'll pick you this guy up you pick out one other figure to go with them 
you can put that code in and get free shipping on your order. And hopefully it'll be as good as mine mine was and get uh, get them within a couple of days. But uh, I will post a link to, to being able to pick this up at primetoys.net. i also post a link not only to that, but to Transmissions Podcast, where y'all check that out. They're a great group of guys who do great work for your Transformer needs. They definitely you, they talk comics, figures, uh, everything third party, anything you can think of, they talk about. And also, they're also sponsored by trans, by the primetoys.net. Uh, and... But also, guys, please like, comment, and share this video. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. I'll also post links down below to my Twitter and my Instagram where you can keep track of all my reviews that's coming out this week. And lastly, guys, I'd just like to thank you for watching, and I hope to hear from you guys soon.